Yes. So very good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning, children. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. What did we do in our previous class? Which topic did we start uh, complete in our previous class? More nouns. Yes, we learn more nouns that is countable and uncountable nouns. Today we will move on to the next topic, gender. What is the next topic? Gender. What is gender? What does gender refer to? Yes, it refers to the male category, the female category, the common cat the common gender, and the neighbor gender. We have four kinds of genders. Okay. Now, what is the new topic we will begin today? Gender. Yes. Now, listen. Yes, gender. Okay. Now, in gender, we have the masculine gender. Huh? We have, yes, there are four types. Okay, it, gender refers to nothing but a male or a female. Now, pay attention here. Gender are of four kinds. There are four kinds of gender or four types of gender. The first one is the masculine gender. Then we have masculine gender. Yes. Then we have the feminine gender. Excuse me, ma'am. Yes. I cannot go to Bali, ma'am. See. Okay. Then the next third gender we have. Is the common gender and the last type of gender is the neuter. No neuter. Neuter. It is the neuter gender. Now pay attention, all of you. Everyone. Now we are starting. We have started a new topic: gender. In gender, we have four four kinds. Okay, we have four kinds of gender. That is the first one is the I don't want anyone talking while I'm explaining. Just pay attention. If you ask me, I will not repeat again if you ask me. So pay attention carefully and attentively. Gender is of four types. The first one is the masculine gender. The feminine gender, common gender, neuter gender. This is pronounced as neuter. Now what is this? I will tell you later. Now first I will explain to you what is masculine. Masculine nothing means male. Okay? A male. A person who belongs to the male gender. A person who belongs to the male gender refers to masculine gender. Male means nothing but you have boy, man. Anyone who is male belongs to the masculine gender. Now for example, you have brother. Is your brother a male or a female, a boy or a girl? Then you have father. What about your father? Yes. He is a Then you have yes. You have uncle. Your uncle is a female or a male gender belongs to which gender? Masculine gender. Then you have king. King refers to male gender and female gender. Male gender. Then you have son. Son refers to male gender. Yes. 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 So nouns. Yes. Nouns. Yes. Then you have lion. Lion. Nouns of masculine gender. Okay. Nouns of masculine gender. 
chatter listen yes see now nouns that belong to the masculine category or the male category is called as the masculine gender nouns of masculine gender refer to male persons the male persons and animals it is not only connected with the persons it is also the animals in animals also we have male and female okay animals also are male few animals are male few are female like how we are persons are we human beings also okay now i am a male or a female
they called common gender? Why are they called as common gender? It is very easy for me also to read. I am a C. Means what? Means what? You all are reading from the book. It is very easy to read. But it is very difficult to understand what it is. What does it mean? Ma'am, we don't know if it is a male or female. You don't know if it is a male or a female. Okay, then. Then. Anyone has any other answer? Yes, yes. as 
teachers engineer what about engineer an engineer can be a male an engineer can be a female so in common we call engineer as engineer if it is a male or a female we call them both as engineer then you have the scientists scientists also can be a male and can be a female so a scientist comes under this common gender any doubt prana bharayo prana what are you doing wait wait prana where are you going prana gaddi vanda okay so the people who belong to either the male or the female category refers to the common gender did you understand yes ma'am yes yes ma'am yes ma'am okay now yes ma'am okay now the last one we have the neuter gender neuter gender neither i am using the word neither neither it is a neither male nor female means what it has no gender neuter means nothing or neuter means none zero okay so what does neuter gender stands for neuter gender belongs to those people who are neither male nor female all non living things non living things belong to the neuter gender they are neither female nor a male now you can see this chalk can you see this chalk is it a girl or a boy a male or a female does it have long does it have a short hair like a boy a long hair like a girl it is a non living thing yes can you see can you see this girl having a long hair or a short hair as a boy or a long hair like a girl no it is non living thing it is it is neither a male nor a female it is not a boy nor a female so all the non living things refer to the female gender for example like in chalk then what are the non living things what is this i also have a duster can you see the duster can the duster anyone look like a boy or a girl yes it is a non living thing yes what are all this what are these these are the keys can you see any gender here yes so the keys tables you have your book in front of you can you then can you for difference whether it is a female or a male no you cannot why because it is a non living things so yes the nouns that refer to which they are neither a female nor a male are called as neuter gender okay they don't have any gender that means all the examples are of the non living things all the non living things do not have any gender they are the neuter gender clear all of you the four types of gender masculine yes. gender refers and i am revising once again pay attention pay attention i am revising once again the masculine gender which refers to the male category the second one is the feminine gender which refers to the female category common gender refers to both male and female category neuter gender does not have any gender it is neither a female nor a male all the non living things belong to the neuter gender any doubt no ma'am no ma'am no ma'am okay so take a pencil in your hand ma'am yes the people who have a gender 
Vegetables. Yes, ma'am. Vegetables. Can you see whether can you make out whether it is a male or a female? Ah, it is a neuter gender. It is neuter gender. Does it? Uh, does it? Does it reserve? Does it have any features of a female? Who is that asking you question? What is your name? Who is asking this question? I'm a Mr. No, I'm not. What's your name? I mean, so what's your name? Anushka, can you see? It? Does the vegetables have any features like a boy or a girl? No, ma'am. No, so it's a neuter gender. All the non-living things. I told you all the non-living things. Wherein you cannot see. Yes, if I see now, if I see this bottle, I will show you this. I have a bottle. Can I see? Does it? Does the bottle look like a boy or a girl? No, ma'am. Does it have short hair, long hair? Is it wearing a frock or is it wearing a dress? No, so it is. It has no category. Sorry, it has no category. It does not belong to any gender. So it is a neuter gender. Now, take a pencil in your hand. Write this date. Now we'll solve the exercise. Yes, the A part. Take a pencil and we'll do the first one. Complete each sentence by the using the opposite gender of noun in bold. In bold, they have given you a word. You need to change it into the next gender. Which hero and dash do you like the most? Hero. Hero is which gender? Yes. Hero is which gender? The masculine gender. So the feminine gender. Feminine gender of hero is heroine. Hero, heroine. Our landlord and dash are very loving and generous. Yes. Land lady, not lordess. Landlord, landlady. Landlord is a male gender. Landlady belongs to the female gender. A peacock has beautiful feathers, but that is not so beautiful. Peacock, yes. Yes. Sorry. Peahen. A peacock has beautiful feathers, but the peahen is not so beautiful. The new bride and dash are coming to our house. Yes, very good. Bride groom. Bride groom. The lion and dash stay together to bring up the cups. Lioness. Lioness. The third one is lioness. My niece and dash will dress up. Niece. Yes. Nephew. Nephew, yes. My niece and nephew will dress up as Dash and Prince for the fancy dress event. Yes. Prince and Princess. Prince and Princess. Now, what are you going to do? Seven, eight, nine, ten. Yes. Write H W. Right. Yes. Write H W. Have you all written this? Yes. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I want everyone.
every one of you to do the homework. 7, 8, 9, 10. Mark it as your homework. HW. Just one word you need to write. Shall I rub the board? Now the B part. Write these nouns in correct headings. Now they have given you a noun here. They have a box of very nice. Masculine. Super. Common noun. And neuter. Now what they are telling you here, they have given you in the box, there are various kinds of gender. All the genders are mixed. All the four kinds of gender words are mixed. In these box, there are words of neuter gender, common gender, masculine gender, feminine gender. You need to pick up a gender and put it in the appropriate columns. Pranay. Okay? You need to pick up the appropriate gender or the word and put it in the appropriate columns. Did you get me? Yes. Now the first one is Yes, the first one is book. Which gender does the book belong to? Yes. Yes, very good. So in neuter gender, I will write the word book. In neuter gender, I will write the word book. Does it have any gender, female or male? No. So it is, yes, so it belongs to the neuter gender. Waitress. A female horse. A female 
it belongs to the feminine gender next mother yes feminine gender mother is a feminine gender cousin common gender your cousin can be a boy or a girl or you can have a cousin brother or cousin sister so in common we call them as cousin common cousin is common gender teenager yes yes common gender teenager king masculine gender king is the masculine gender teacher